Hello and welcome. Just taking a couple moments to get set up here. Hope you all are having an amazing evening. So I just put a pen post in less than an hour will be the interview with former 1776 RM board members. I posted the link to the channel. It's over on Angie's channel. I know that she's been doing a lot of prep preparing for that interview. Um, I think it would be interesting for all of us to listen to, even if, like, if you supported 1776, if you did not support 1776 RM, I think um, some facts will come forward or some unique perspectives that maybe have been unknown. And so I um, hope, hope that um, everyone gets a chance to check it out. I will be shutting down um, this live stream at that time, but I wanted to see if I can make progress on this wrench soup painting that I started and see if I can get that finished here in the next 45 or so minutes. Just, just catching up on some things and pulling up my, like my reference art. I wish I could tell you guys where this music came from. I used like a program to create it. And I think I deleted the program right after I created it. I'd like to do more, but um, I can't remember what it was called, so I can't find it again. But I'm trying to work my way around um, copyright claims. Not copyright strikes. There is a difference. I, I always tell what the difference is uh, every time I bring it up, but I'll tell the share again. So a copyright claim is where you've used music on your channel that someone created and YouTube will let you know, Hey, you used music on your channel that someone created and it's okay. They don't have a problem with using the music, your, their music on your channel. But, um, if you make any money off this video, it's going to go to them as, as it should be. Right. And the best or I think the right thing to do in those situations is also be sure to include that musician's information in the description of your video and give them credit, like link to their channel, give them credit, you know, their name, their, the name of their music, whatever. That's to me, in my opinion, the right thing to do. A copyright strike is where someone sees their content of, on your channel in any way and they file with YouTube a legal document called a copyright strike and if you get three of those on your channel youtube will delete your channel and they are usually processed automatically and there isn't a lot of like real people behind the scenes reviewing them or anything so they're a different process you can have dozens and dozens of copyright claims on your channel and it isn't a problem other than youtube letting you know you won't ever make money off from this as long as you have this person's music on your channel so um, i started getting into um, making my own music and this was some program i used to make my own music so that i because while a copyright claim doesn't hurt your channel, I just don't, it like shows up in my YouTube studio and I don't like seeing it. So I started um, developing, hiring people to make music for me or um, finding ways to make my own music from, from scratch. So this was some app I downloaded that you could pull together for different elements and make your own music. And then I think I deleted it. I think it might've been a subscription based app and sometimes I do that, like I'll download a subscription based app and I'll have like a three day trial. And as soon as you download it, go into your subscriptions and unsub like cancel it. So you don't forget and you don't get hit with whatever the fee is for the subscription. So usually when I do that with apps, once I've, um, once the free free time frame has ended, I usually will delete them from my phone. And I think that's what might have happened with this one. So I'm just going to get my reference picture up here. We're going to paint faces today. So 
So just the first one we're going to do here, this one here. So Brock's over here. And these are AI generated artworks. So Brock's and Queenie, Queenie, and then Tommy Temper over here. So these are the faces we're going to paint today. Oh, hi, Christina W. I'm not interviewing anyone tonight. Um, in less than an hour over on Angie's channel, she will be interviewing the board members of 1776 and some very, very in-depth information will be coming forward in those interviews. So the link is there as a pinned post. So I think it's worth listening to then, um, you know, the constant gossip about Tommy Temper and Daisy and Sable and all the stuff you guys have been gossiping about over there in Troll Central. I mean, I get it. It's what to talk about, but you guys can listen to something else and gossip about something new. Kind of gets, I don't know, I find it kind of gets old. I, I kind of have an opinion. I mean, I left Tommy Temper's chat and channel quite a bit ago after I got timed out for apologizing for something I didn't do on behalf of someone else. So I left then. But my opinion on it is if, if Tommy Temper doesn't want you guys in his chat, then that's that's his choice to sit and cry about it. I mean, I don't know why you want to be there. I just don't get it. I don't get it. If someone doesn't want you in their YouTube chat, then fuck them don't be there you know like no one has a right to be in anyone's chat and hold on i don't know what i did with the paint oh here we go yeah if you're unsubscribed then um you don't um you're not tempted to participate in the chat um susan knox in 40 minutes so I don't know what time it is where you are. See, that's it. When people tell me what time does that start? Well, for me, it starts at 10 a.m., but that's definitely not what time it is for you. So let's just have a little countdown, 40 minutes. And the link is pinned there in, in the um, at the top. And hi there, Susan. Good to see you. So Brox has very dark eyes. Almost like a blackness in his soul and very kind of angular eyebrows. Uh, yeah, it's wrench soup. So uh, this is, um, so I kind of explained it last week and then I took a break from painting. So this here is Tommy Temper and he's smiling gleefully, gleefully because he loves to play these wrench games with people and, um, and games with his chat. So, I mean, in a way I foresaw the future. So uh, this is him smiling gleefully happily playing games with his chat and his wrenches and all that. And then this here in the middle, this is Queenie. And she's going to have this kind of seething look because she's always 
make you assumptions who people are in the chat and their intentions. And she hates Brett and she loves Brett and she hates Brett and she loves Brett back and forth, back and forth on and on and on. And then this is over here, broccoli, Brett, um, with his broccoli there in his hand. And he's always um, trying to get a wrench and be in control of the wrenches. So he doesn't, his wrench wasn't taken from him. He gave it up, right? And then crying about wanting a wrench back. And so, yeah, this is a bowl of wrench soup. Yeah, yeah, I have um, some reference pictures. So I'll bring them again. These were like AI generated pictures I made um, back earlier in the summer. So this is my picture of broccoli. This is broccoli with Queenie when they met up. They actually met up in person when they were still friends. And then this is my picture of Queenie from that time. And then about that same time frame, I have a picture of Tommy Temper. So I have some reference pictures for the painting. And you can see broccoli has very like pointy angular eyebrows. But I'm about to paint, paint to like just kind of the rough, rough outline of his beard. The thing with painting is it all takes, um, takes layers. That's what, um, what's his name and I, or what's her name? I really don't know. I don't know on YouTube here. Sorry, I didn't mean to. If I misspoke your gender, sorry about that, um, Geek Squad. So Geek Squad and I have determined that, um, Paintings take layers to develop. And see, like, I probably made those eyes a little high on his head. So I might come back in and remove those. She does have the ability to raise one eyebrow. And it's kind of a skill set, I would say. Like, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll give her credit for that. She has eyebrows pretty high up on her head. So we learned this from um, doing Carl's video uh, that you can you can kind of almost erase watercolors if you mess up. So it's only fair, and it's always it's always the eyes I mess up. Right, we're always fixing people's eyes. I mean, I don't think I can mess up anyone's eyes worse than I messed up Carl's eyes with those big eyelashes I tried to give him. But, um, yeah. So we'll just wait that out for that to dry. Move on to our next subject. And sorry here, my, um, my setup's a little, like, kind of all over the place here, so. There. Normally, I put you guys... I'm going to change this up. I'm going to change this up. I'm going to put my reference photo over here on my laptop and then put my chat over here on my backup phone so I can see things better. Because I'm kind of having to turn back and forth to read you guys and that's not really working out. So you guys there. Now I see you guys. Sorry about that. And turn you on seeing all messages. There we go. Oh yeah, I have no skills as a painter. So just a moment here, close that. I had a friend send me a long message I'll have to read later. All right, so here we go. My, my reference pictures are now up here and I don't know what color I have on my paintbrush. So we'll just dip it here. So we're going to wait for Brock's to dry out a little. We're going to do Queenie next. And in this picture I have of her, she has a very like frowny face going on. Very angry. So, I mean, I guess that's good. Kind of maybe a little higher up here, but that's okay. We'll just make that all part of her lips here.
And then we could come in with some eyes. Maybe I should like first paint eyes, maybe a lighter color. So I want it kind of like a really like, almost like seething eye, like a very small seething eye. Yeah, this was a better ideal with the thing, with the lighter color. And then we could come back in and touch stuff up. And you're right, you're right. Um, Susan, she does have very high eyebrows up there, like up here almost, right? They're way up there. And I'll have to find where my pencil is to erase some of those pencil lines. And then she has like a, a brown black hair. Um, in this picture, I have her with a baseball cap, so maybe we'll add that. But she has very um, long, kind of a little bit wavy brown black hair. Did Carl like his painting? I don't know if Carl liked his painting. You know how Carl is. Yeah, kind of more this kind of darker color of um, paint. And again, we'll do we'll do layers and all that great stuff. So here she has a very dark kind of ball cap. And then, you know, some of the hair that comes out from it. I guess the ball cap could be more like down this way. So like there we go. Maybe more like this. Don't worry. Don't worry. It all blends in. There. Okay. So we're just going to paint it over like this. The ball cap goes out like this. And then this is the line of it. I understand that. And then maybe, just maybe, just touch up this little bit that got maybe a little bit outside of maybe where the ball cap is. There. They're almost perfect there. And then let me pull up my reference picture. Yeah, she does have very nice hair. And for her age that um, she hasn't start going gray is um, pretty, pretty amazing too. I mean, I think she has a couple like little strands of gray hair, but um, she's, I think she's pretty much within a couple months of the same year I was born. And um, I've definitely got more strands of gray or maybe it just doesn't show up on camera. Who knows? Who knows? Oh yeah, that's true. Daisy has nice hair too. Daisy has very nice hair. Maybe they um they don't like color it or anything like that. I know my hair has gotten healthier since I've come over to Japan because over here there's only there's only hair coloring for I forgot what I was doing. I gotta have Tommy Temper's picture here. So, so they only have dark coloring, like black, black, like jet black, or blonde. That's kind of all they have here because Asian culture, um, you know, naturally has dark color hair. So you can only get like black, black.
Yeah, but um, Susan Knox, like my father, is full full native, and uh, he still he still went silver. You know, and I do see it here in Japan. Um, they there's older people with silver hair, like s straight up all full head of silver. But a lot of them um, dye it as they get older because they're very they're very um self-conscious about it so tommy temper has really big round eyes and uh he did i guess he doesn't get sleep because uh he has bags under his eyes and she, he just has kind of normally shy brows and then a very wide nose all right I'm going to see if I can find what happened to my pencil. I think I was working on some schoolwork with my daughter. And the pencil went somewhere. So that I can erase these pencil lines. And I lost my background music, so let me fix that too. Because that would help. That would help. Now I've gotten used to having the background music for you guys. So now it feels weird without it. I guess that's how it goes. There we go. I'm going to go see if I can find my pencil. Because I don't see it like poking around here. around in my house. That's what happens when you have a couple school-aged children. So, there we go. And I'll just put that in my little cup here. So just keeping on our time, 23 minutes until um, the interview and I'll be sure to put it in the chat as well. So this is about, I think, no, I think about right there. We'll go see Broccoli's eyes. And then his very sharp eyebrows up here. Okay. Just to kind of know where I'm going with things. And just kind of ditch his pencil lines up here. All right, I'm gonna go back and work on this hat a bit. Let me shake this out. And sorry, you guys. Oh, let's do a little plant break here because I wanted to show, I wanted to give an update on plants. Progress. Because some exciting things here on the plants. Hi, Robbie. Alright, so this here, this is Planty, who you guys have witnessed since it was just a little, one little stick. So Planty first put out this leaf. And Planty is a half moon um, Monsteria. 
Then you guys saw this second leaf. And now Planty is putting out this third leaf, which looks to be an all white leaf coming out. And then it looks like Planty has some um, stems coming here where we might see some more of the half leaves. I would like to see more um, half leaves come out on Planty. So there is Planty and I'm just going to move Planty aside here so it's kind of out of our way. And then we have Planty's friend that came in the mail who came as one leaf and has been slowly working towards a secondary leaf. And I'm going to change up, I think this weekend, I'm going to change up Planty's friend here. I'm going to call this like Friendy. So Friendy is a tiger monsteria. So Planty is a half moon and this is a tiger. And then I keep showing you guys my daughter's, my younger daughter's little um, succulent turium here. And when, uh, when I first showed this to all of you, all these plants were, of course, much smaller. Um, this plant had put out babies, and those are now getting huge. This plant has developed. This one's starting putting out little offspring. And then whenever I touch this one, leaves fall off. So I keep replanting them and they're starting to root. So, um, so yeah, it's progressing. I should probably mist it with some water and wash some of the dirt that's kind of landed up there. But um, it's doing well. Good. It's kind of her little job to take care of it. So there we go. Get those all the way out of the way of our art projects. So we did some work for today watching the plants grow. Thank you for helping me work. And there we go, bring that back over here. My little pointy stick back over there. kind of the brim of this hat here. There we go. 
for the hat.
So just a five minute reminder here, five minutes until Angie's live stream starts with the interview with the former board members of 1776. Um, I'll be posting a link and I'm sending us all over there. Going back to my reference picture here. Yeah, Queenie's got some nice teeth. Look at that. A lot of these people don't have nice teeth. I think I have a lot of gray in my um, white paint from the last time. I was painting with white when I was doing Wizzy's hair. Let that set for a bit. bit of an arch here to it.
Then I believe Tommy Temper also has some nice teeth. Yeah, kind of. again. Just erase some of these pencil lines I have in here. Geek Squad. It's been a while since you've been here for a painting. And oh, like that other day. <laughs> Pretty much good end. There's a pin link at the top. Um, Angie is doing an interview with 1776 board members and um, I think a lot of information will come forward and I'm kind of scooting everyone over there. I'm going to finish painting Tommy Temper's link or, or teeth here and then I'll drop the link in the chat too. And then I'm pretty much going to be shutting down. And we'll work on wrench soup maybe again tomorrow. I've been kind of not feeling in the painting mood, but I also don't like leaving things unfinished. I'll have to add some more layers to his teeth. Yeah, you're very welcome. Yeah, she's doing an interview with uh, at least two of the former board members. They're going to be speaking out against 1776. So definitely do think it's worth anyone and everyone tuning in for. Is here. I'll drop that link again down here in the chat and then see you guys over there. I heard she also um, cleaned out her um, block list. Oh, that was an interesting documentary I was watching. I'll check and see if she's doing a little intro. Oh no, she jumped right into it. Lots of receipts going on. So drop that down here in the chat. And then shut this down. Yeah, um, Geek Squad, I'm, I'm curious about some of the, the financial statements that are going to be coming forward. So that's what I've heard is that some financial statements are coming forward because she's interviewing Elf and he took over the the finances from Hippie Mama. And um, so I've heard that um, there's going to be some transparency on the money side of things, which I've always said, follow the money with um, them. And people were too caught up in some of the other drama stuff. But um, like no one, no one knew that Santa had registered a business license in Ohio till I shared it on Twitter. So that's, um, that's, I, I'm very curious to see, um, transparency on some of the financial stuff come forward. So that, that's, well, I'm going to pop over there. So here it is. Interview with four, 1776 RNM 
board members over on Angie's live stream. And I know she prepped for this interview for uh, quite, quite a bit in advance. So there's the link. And um, see you all guys next time. Hope you have a really great evening.